simply you have to remove this screw right here all right uh, use the T10 hex nut um, adapter that he gave you to remove the screw here all right and after that then you're gonna have to lift this this plate off to get the cover off the, uh, to start your wiring all right now to lift this off guys um, you're gonna have to get behind it now this plastic um, I don't know how rigid it is to, or how flexible it is to pull it out without breaking it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my um, my side end remover to help me take this off so I don't accidentally crack it if I pull it too far off so that's what I'm gonna do to try to get this off because I do not want to break this cover so what I'm gonna do is just gonna put my bracket behind it all right guys just to, to let you know how I got again what I did these things are are just simply held in little tabs here 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 and so on all right so the little tabs and it just clicks in so when you push this on here when it's on you have to pop fly it up what I did I just took my little little my little slide remover and slide it upward straight up and it allows it to snap right out much easier than me trying to pull it pull it out all right initially it was kind of tough and again I didn't want to break this thing because it's a uh, it's kind of it's just thin plastic so I don't want to break it so I just use this got behind it and slide up and I just pop the cover right off to get this off much easier than trying to pull it because if one pin is one you pull it a too much and it's still locked in you run the risk of cracking it that's just my opinion I saw one of the videos I think was Richie uh, Rich Rebuild he was repairing his Tesla charger and he ended up cracking his so again so when you take this off get up one of these or get something like a flathead and just slide upward and it'll pop this these um, tabs off to get this cover off all right so that's what I'm good that's what I did to get it off so I don't end up breaking this all right next guys we're gonna what to do we're gonna have to move this cover now you you're gonna have to use their um, hex screw and as you can see excuse me hit the camera um, as you can see there's like a little hole within here all right that comes sides with those screws because I guess it's more of a security feature uh, don't want anyone getting behind there um, so you're gonna have to use their their hex which is a t20 with that little hole in it so you can get these screws off so I'm gonna do that now all right got the cover off now as you can see um, this is how it looks inside now I'm gonna have to run my wires through the rear so what I'm gonna have to do now um, is I'm gonna have to make a hole right here so I'm just gonna got a pencil mark excuse me for the plane going overhead indicating where my where I'm gonna be uh, drilling at uh, so again uh, this is my first time doing this so I wasn't aware how everything's gonna lined up so pretty much my wire is gonna come out through my house right through there all right um, they give us some rubber stops or sealant to seal this hole up and I believe there's another hole right here which I have to use to seal that hole up so I have my location I'm gonna run my wire so now I'm gonna have to take this box off drill my hole run my wire well drill my hole then remount the box then put my wire through all right um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now all right guys so you can see I removed my box and where I indicated where that hole was with inside the the unit I made a little pencil mark and it's telling me exactly where that hole where I need to drill so when I put the box back on, that wire will come, will come through that hole unimpeded by anything. So I didn't want to make a guess on just feel it, taking this whole material out. I know exactly where I'm going to drill it, so which is right here. 
and so it'll make it much easier when I fish my wires through to get it through from the house through the back to the door. wire through and this is for exterior insulation all right um, being I'm in installing my box outside if you can be using this hole which I did and as you can see over here it's in relation to here I got my wire snaked out now when you use this go come through here you're gonna notice you're gonna have to seal up the holes in the box in the bottom one they give you a um, a knob to seal up this big hole and they give you one to seal up this big hole all right but you won't have you won't have an extra one to fill, to fill this hole that's here what are you gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take it from the top mount bracket all right this pops off and you take that part and you just put it in here behind here to seal up that hole in the back so only thing that will be exposed is this hole here where you're going to fish your wire through. So I just want to make that clear if y'all wasn't sure. It wasn't clear to me on how I was going to seal this. Initially I thought they only gave you two um, plugs for this and this. Then I had to come through the back. But I didn't have to do that. Um, all I had to do was just get this plug from up here. Plug this in. And then I still can have this only hole open for my wire. So I hope that I understand that makes sense to you uh figure my dog is barking but um that's about it all right so i just want to bring that to your attention all right guys um i'm going to show you what i'm doing right now again um i end up going picking up one of these um adapters uh, and this is a half inch and what i like about it which you should pick it up is that it comes with a gasket and easy to snake through Alright, so again, this is for exterior insulation. Again, I'm using the smaller hole, and they didn't give you a gasket or something that you can, uh, once you sink your wire through, I had gaps, and I didn't really want to put cork in here and what have you. So I ended up going into the store, get one of these exterior ones. It's a half inch, and what you're going to do is just going to seal it up, and that's going to give you a nice tight seal to prevent water from getting inside so you're gonna have to drill your hole here that goes into my um, into my mountain block this is a half inch uh, diameter so that when you slip this on this is gonna go right into there and it's gonna prevent that water from coming in so if any water gets behind here it's just gonna hit it and just go right straight down so that's what I end up picking up to uh to mount this outside again this is not needed if it's indoors but if you're doing it outside like i am uh pick up one of these adapters all right to help you with your insulation so i just want to bring that to your attention before i mount this thing so now um i'm gonna mount it and then i'm gonna fish my wires through here to get it through so let me set that up stop back there that close up that hole and also the one in the bottom also it's gonna be closed up all right so that's your rear entry for your outdoor see how we got it in screwed in here you make that hole just big enough to slip this right behind there so if any water should get behind here it's just gonna hit this and just keeps on dropping straight down all right so that's all I want to bring to you. That's a little, just 
a little detail I just want to bring to you. All right, so right now I got the wires fished through. I'm gonna push this back here. Now what you can do, what I might do a little late before I'm um, off camera, I might just, uh, before I seal this up, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna throw some cork around that, that fastener where that opening is. Again, just to prevent any water from getting back there. All right, and then I'll, I'll push that back in. Just a extra precaution of so no water gets behind this or gets inside the box. guys um when um you start to connect your your wire again this, uh, these wires are very thick so you're really gonna have to uh, manipulate them to get it in now as you can see you can have an l1 and l2 which are these two and the connection is underneath it so i'm gonna have to back this out a bit i'm gonna have to trim this down and get my this is going to be my L1 and it's going to be my L2 and I'm going to slip it right up in there. All right. So the ground is already hooked up. My white is going to be my ground. Now you're going to have an extra ground here. Just uh, cut it off um, and just wrap it up and just stick it in the box. All right. It's not going to be used. All right. We're going to use the white wire as the ground wire. All right. So let me continue on. Um, with the time lapse all right if I see anything I need to stop and show you I'll do that but right now it's just, just straight um, wiring all right this is not connected to the power of the house I haven't connected it yet so that's why it's safe for me to work with all right connect your box first then do the house later all right and again if you're not comfortable new doing this type of work get yourself a licensed electrician electrician all right so let me continue on. All right, guys. Also, for your do your sulfurs. All right. Um, when I thought was helpful, as you notice, I did like a little S curve in with the wiring. So try to do that before you even try to get it in there. Take it and bend it back. Go straight up with it and take it and kind of bend it back this way. All right, going down. All right, so when it's bending down, you're gonna bend toward the middle of here to make it bend back in itself, causing this to go straight up, all right? As you can see, I'm taking it and I'm just bending it. It's thick wire, guys, so you're gonna have to really work with it. All right. Let's see how I'm bending it down. All right. So it gives you something like that profile. So now, when you go to push it up. You see how it's come around, it's blooped back in itself? Then you can get underneath it to help push the wire up into this connection. Because it's kind of tough. You're going to have to play with it. You're going to have to do it several times to make sure I catch it. And as you push down, you can see it's caught. So that's a little trick on trying to get that this wire into there. All right, because it's very tight in here. And these wires are very tough to maneuver. So I just want to bring that little tip to you for you guys. Uh, we're not used to doing this I'm not used to doing this so these are little tricks I I kind of learned on the way so let me continue on and getting this thing hooked up everything's hooked up now um, again you push down on these things and if they don't move you got them locked in all right so everything's locked in now 
Um, again, it's just three wires. Your neutral and your two line is going to go in here. All right. Now, after you do that, then you're going to have to set your dip switch and your rotary switch. All right. Um, consult your manual on your for what type of service you have to have at your house. All right. When I'm hooking up to my house, I'm using a a 60 amp um, breaker. So the directions tells me uh, in the Tesla directions to tell me for a 60 amp breaker. All right. I have to set my rotary switch uh, position to nine. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, as you can see, I have it set to nine for my application, and these two are already set. I have a 240 line to my house, so that's already set. All right. Again, follow your directions on your manual for your application. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right. Um, so I can zoom back out for you guys. I'm gonna reset the camera. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So I'm all hooked up. All right. Um, what I'm have to do now is I'm have to. Use, this goes connects to the plate. It'll fit on. To this part here all right so i'm gonna connect this to this and i'm gonna button it up everything's done all right all right so you got the ground you got your two line wires and that's pretty much it once you get that hooked up fix your dip switch and your rotary switch once that's done hook this up and button it up all right so let me get that done now project started me getting that mountain block on so I have something nice something nice uh, flat to rest on and I like how it looks alright so that's how you hook up the power well the wiring to your Tesla alright now we're gonna take it into the house and we're gonna hook it up to my um, circuit panel and that's it we're, it's a wrap now guys if you like this video and this was helpful uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, if you would do something different, let me know. Uh, let's get a conversation on. Um, for you guys who are doing it yourself, if you got any questions, um, again, if you're not comfortable with doing this, get yourself a licensed electrician, all right, to do it for you. If you're not comfortable cutting into your siding, get yourself a carpenter uh, or someone to help you out, all right. But as I showed you in this um, series, that you can do it yourself. All right, and save a whole lot of money. All right, so guys, again, if you appreciate it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's continue on.